The Federal University of Agriculture, Habeokuta, was established on 1st January 1988. The university started from the old campus of Abelkuta Grammar School, Isalegbe, and completed a move to its permanent site along Alabata Road in 1997. The institution occupies 10,000 hectares of land space and a striking feature of the university, aside from being a specialized university, is the greenery that welcomes you upon entry through the main gate. A view of the entire stretch of the campus from the Vice Chancellor's ill top residence is even more breathtaking as the beauty is better observed than described. Funab, as it is fondly called, has had its fair share of great Vice Chancellors. Its pioneer VC was Professor Nuruddin Adedipe, followed by Professor Julius Okoje, who handed over to Professor Israel Folorun Shoadu who bowed out of office in 2006. Then came Professor Ishola Adamson, Professor Oluafemi Olaya Balogun, Professor Olushola Bandele Oyewole, and Professor Ololade Enikuomei. These great men paddled the boat of the great institution and paved the way for Professor Felix Kolawale Salako, Professor Felix Kolawale Salako was named the sixth substantive vice chancellor in 2017. He is a fellow of the Soy Science Society of Nigeria. Born 18th April 1961, Professor Salako attended the University of Nigeria, Onsuka, where he emerged as the best graduating student in his department in 1983 with a bachelor's of a Greek soy science second class upper division. He returned to Unsuka for his master's degree and graduated from the Department of Soil Physics and Soil Conservation in 1986. Apart from teaching courses at undergraduate and postgraduate levels, Professor Salako has supervised over 45 undergraduate projects and over 30 postgraduate theses. His giant strides in academia also include over 90 publications in learned journals, book chapters, conference proceedings, and technical reports. Just like every great man moves from one level of greatness to the other, Professor Felix Kolawale Salako rose through the ranks to become the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Development in September 2011 and spent two terms of two years each till December 2015. Right from the start of his tenure as Vice-Chancellor of the Federal University of Agriculture at Belkuta, he has engaged himself in landmark infrastructural development, harmonious student management relationship, and growth in geometric proportion for the university. 156 completed capital projects later, Professor Salako believes that God's grace, foresight, hard work, and an all-inclusive governance style are ingredients that deliver the unquantifiable success and peace that is time as VC recorded. I have a 12 point agenda which define my mission as a vice chancellor. The reason why I set the agenda was to actually have a kind of guide in terms of where I should focus on. I will tell you without mentioning work, that I've taught every aspect of the 12 point agenda. And that is going to be well defined in my written report. Every aspect of the 12 point agenda. And uh, one thing that the agenda defined is development of the university and development in infrastructurally, development of the human capital development, relationships, as well as leadership. Leadership in the sense that uh, it will be a kind of uh, inclusive leadership with me not compromising standard. I started my career in a consulting firm. I was a research associate at the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture before coming in. The work ethics had been well defined that I couldn't have been overwhelmed with my duties, especially our responsibilities. I work every day of the week and 
but I ensure that I rest you now to start again. First sight, yes, you are right. But there were things that were running through my mind before I became Vice Chancellor, like the capacity of our, let me call it old Senate chamber. It has become old now. Professors were increasing in number. And uh, if you really want to sanction people who don't come to Senate, the question is, have you provided enough space? Now we have provided enough space. 300 seat Senate chamber. Our professors are not yet up to 300. But nobody would want to give that kind of excuse of, oh, I didn't get a space to sit the last time, so. And now you can also connect to the old chamber. We are not really uh, uh, taking up the old chamber. We intend to extend the, uh, what do you call it, electronic gadgets to connect with the chamber if there is any spillover, even in future. Other than inclusive, uh, inclusive uh, kind of governance. I, there, there were stakeholders that I must meet regularly and explain things to I ensure that we are having regular meetings. Number one of such are the principal officers. Regular meetings with the principal officers to think out things because we are responsible for the day-to-day -day management of the university to report and the rest. Number two, Senate meeting as allowed by the national I mean, whatever is happening at the national level, if there are union strikes, there won't be any Senate meeting. Don't take unilateral decisions. Council meetings are okay. Above all, constant, being in constant touch with our students, who, because of their youthful tendencies, might not understand certain issues, but we'll meet them one on one collectively with their union leaders and uh, explain what we feel they should understand to them. It's either we invite them or they even invite us and we allow them to come. Some of these projects include the construction of a 7 billion litre capacity dam in Mauko, the construction of a bakery building, a college of plant science building, an oil palm processing building construction and furnishing of a 300-seater lecture theater with a service center equipped with a digital classroom. That's not all. His administration also saw to the construction and furnishing of the academic office complex with seminar rooms and an e-library, the construction of a postgraduate student hostel, a maternity center, a twin 250-seater capacity lecture theater, an extra building and a 300-seater capacity Senate chamber extension. The 7 billion liters dam mentioned earlier as part of the brainchild of Professor Salako's administration spans several kilometers and is 7 meters deep. Six adjoining streams were channeled to create the dam, which has a pump house with two 100 horsepower pumping machines that push the water through a distance of about 20 kilometers to the university water treatment plant, which was also upgraded and equipped with modern equipment for water treatment. The treated water is pushed to the two central university reservoirs that hold 1.3 million liters of water each. These reservoirs, situated at the highest point in the university, supply water to the length and breadth of the university. This dam is said to have greater features that are weightier than the supply of water to the institution. This thing can also benefit. They can also do catering system or fishing. Yeah, we have an example at another. Yeah, they will insert pins inside the water to restrict the movement of the fish for rearing purposes. And in, in future, it can also serve as a recreational center. Yes, it can do both the data here that can generate fund for this institution. On irrigation, the central pivot irrigation system will ensure that the university can plant all year round. 
An irrigation system pumping machine pumps from the dam and supplies water to the tower leg of the pivot system from where the sprinklers are supplied. The irrigation system can cover 35 hectares of land over a 256 meters radius. On possible overflow of water, there is a spillover area where excess water can be released. Another project worthy of note is the expansion of the Senate chamber that now accommodates 300 people from the less than 200 the old one accommodates. Beyond infrastructure, several other factors elevate the status of a university. Staff management relationship is key. Professor Felix Kolawale Sadako said he feels fulfilled because he has given his best and stayed true to his administration's manifesto. According to him, he has no regrets as he carried out his duties honorably with his conscience, stressing that he utilized the available resources effectively for the development and growth of the Federal University of Agriculture and Belt. Many of them were here. You know. I can really be out with you. I mean, if you pull up on that. But the next moment, I'll just, I can call you and start going on that. What are you calling me? Now you can help me do this. So I don't carry animosity with, uh, with regards to any human being. Uh, anybody who is coming to this position will be affirmative about his own plan to put your feet down to chart your 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 path, your plan. It doesn't mean that you don't review yourself, you review yourself. You review yourself. It, it may surprise me that uh, some of these people will come and say okay, what you said or what you want to do, let us sit down and look at it. At the moment they are saying it, I did not agree, but after a while I, I come back and I say, okay, you are right, so I will go and review it. It's not that we don't take advice, but any advice we are going to take should not be short, that will be detrimental to the system. Pula, pula, 